Yes. Here. Genetic testing is an important part of breeding uh, responsibly. And all my dogs are genetic tested for all the recommended diseases for border collies. And so that includes CEA, which is the collie eye anomaly, and glaucoma, and um, TNS, and IGS. And it seems like there's another one. Anyway. So I'm going to test her for the whole panel. She's already been tested for a few of the most necessary ones, but I decided it's time to do the whole panel. And at the same time, no, that's for afterwards. At the same time as I do that, I'm also going to um, test her for coat color and shed and length and all that sort of thing so that I'll have a better idea of her um, whole genetic background and makeup and what kind of puppy she'll produce. So the testing is really quite simple. There's a company that I use called Animal Genetics. They're located in Florida, but you can ship to them from wherever. And they send out these little permacoat cards, which has a spot for the dog's name, the owner's name, and uh, what breed they are. And then down here, let me pull it out. No, don't lick me. Oh, good. Down here, there are little spaces to put the blood. So what I'm going to do is just clip a toenail until it bleeds and then put it on these spaces. And she's had this done before, so I kind of hate having to do it over again. But they keep these cards on file and they can use the same card for several years. So hopefully we won't ever have to put her through this again. What I'm going to do is just just going to get her to lie down. You're all right. gonna lay her down here and no be still. No. You're all right. I'm gonna clip a couple of her nails first. And then I'm going to clip down to quick and um try to get a sample from it. I'm using just regular fingernail trimmers. You could use no you could use uh, a little more hefty clipper, and that would be all right. But do her other paw too. You're okay. You're okay. All right, come here. You get in my lap. That's better. Now, some dogs you may not want to clip them this way, with them laying in your lap here, because some dogs will get. You know, some dogs will get quite frightened and may even nip or bite, and you certainly don't want to risk that. But knowing Leon, I know that I'm safe there. She may try to get away from me because she doesn't like having her toenails clipped. But I'm going to give her a treat. Hopefully, that'll help add some good memories to the bad ones. No, you're all right. Just relax. Good girl. No. That's better. That's better. That's better. Yes. That's better. Good girl. <laughs> On a dog with light colored toenails, you can see exactly where the blood vessel comes and clip accordingly. I like to take it from the dewclaw because the dewclaw will tend to curl around and go into their paw. So if I'm going to cut one particularly short, I'm going to make it the dewclaw. All right. And some people will intentionally cut their dog's nails to the quick. I never do. But some people will do this intentionally. I've heard that veterinarians will do it in particular. Because when you cut to the quick, it causes the nerve and the blood vessel to retreat somewhat. And this helps prevent them from growing too long too fast. Now on a dog with light colored nails, you can see where the blood vessel is. On a dog with dark colored nails, you kind of just have to guess. No Cleon. No. It's time to be still. Good girl. I'm running into a bit of a problem in that my clippers are too small to fit all the way over her nails. So I'm just going to have to do the best I can. Girl. You're right, pup. I'm sorry. I know. Doesn't feel good. I don't like 
doing it to you, buddy. No. You're okay. Yes, you were. You're okay. No. You need to let me do this. Now I've got a little spot of blood. Not really enough. But yes, Cleon. You're a good girl. Mm -hmm. You're bleeding. Thank you, Cleon. Summer is I'm gonna have to cut that down even a little bit more. Because I'm not going to like this. This is one of my least favorite parts about raising dogs. I don't like having to hurt them for this. No, sorry girl. But it's much better than raising unhealthy puppies. No. doing this for the dogs, for all the puppies and owners, but good girl. That would be benefited by this. Good girl, Cleon. Almost done, girl. Almost done. And so because of that, I feel real good about doing it, even though it's not a pleasant job, even though it's Kind of painful to the dog. It is a benefit. <laughs> I'm sure this stings some, but it's not bad at all. And in a few minutes she'll trot on off and forget all about it. Good girl, Cleon. Now you're being a good girl. Yeah. There we go. So I say to fill both circles at least halfway. That'll do. Here. There you go. All better now, right? They say to fill both circles at least halfway. As you can see, I was able to get a good sample this time, so I filled them all the way. And now that needs to air dry for 15 minutes or so. So I'm just going to put it on my clipboard and let it dry there. And then it'll go back into this plastic envelope and I'll send it in with the form and the appropriate feed to the lab.